Now, I removed the rotor on this side here, and you can see the bad's gone on. Now, these are on it from day dot, right? There's paint on the screws, uh, the two screws that were holding it, and they were never taken out. Uh, that's my excuse anyway, because I had to get a hammer and chisel for them. I should have showed you how that's done, right? It's, it's, it's a good way of getting the uh, screws out if there's no other option, right? Uh, impact driver spun them, right? So, um, basically, right, I'll show you on the other side. What you do is you don't use a big hammer. You use a small chisel and a small hammer. And the chisel is placed on one side of the screw only, right? And you whack it and you work it around that way, okay? And that's how you get them out. You dig it into the screw. I'll, I'll show it on the other on the other rotor on the other side. And you whack it and you bring it around that way. Now, that never fails. And, uh, now, I don't... I didn't, I haven't got any spares of these here, right, but it doesn't matter, right, because I have others here now, they've got a flat head on them, right, but, uh, or they've got a, um, a, um, a straight cut in them, um, a flat head screwdriver, and, uh, otherwise there's no difference, right, the, uh, so they'll just go in there just the same, right, you know, I'll cut them short, of course, um, or you could, if you're stuck, you could cut a slot in these, now, they serve no purpose other than to hold the roller on, because the wheel actually holds the roller on, so they serve, uh, they, they only serve a purpose, like, it wouldn't be right to not have them, right? You take your wheel off and your rotor would be all probably slack. But it's just, it's, it, there's no structural strength in these screws, they just hold them there. So uh, if you can actually, uh, sometimes it's actually better. And you know, have the experience of one, on one, on one side. I won't bother now with the impact driver on the far side, I'll go straight at it with the chisel. And therefore I might save the integrity of the screw. I just ain't got the others and I ain't gonna bother ordering them in, right, and I have some here, and I can just go down the street anyway and get them ordered, right, so, uh, um, that's basically it, now the one thing I want to show you is, this is the rotor here, and I say they're on it from day, dot, dot, they bits, okay, and, um, here's the, here's the new rotors here, ta-da, okay, and there we go, right, so they'll be going on now, and, uh, there's no need to do anything with these rotors, by the way, there, there's no need to take that off them, they come, uh, some kind of paint or something on them, Right, um, that's basically it, and uh, I put this one on now, then the, um, the bracket goes back on, and then the caliper goes back on, and uh, we have this one side then finished, completed, so uh, um, let's get on with it. Now I'm just going to give this a wire brush, and put the, uh, the new rotor on, it's a simple enough job. I'll do a better video on the far side because they'll be chiseling off the uh, screws, they won't come out, I know they won't come out. These are the originals that were taken off. you get the screws in line there. Okay. Now, right, we'll put them on the right way now, wouldn't we? There we go. Perfect. There you go. You know, just putting the bracket back on, just the reverse of taking it off. And 
And this one here. Now it's just a case of the uh, brake pads back on. Looking on new brake pads, I should say. Now. There we go. I'm going for this side. There we go. A bit of grease on the back of the pad. There's our new piston seal overhaul. Okay, make sure my seal is all right, nice and straight. Okay, okay, put this bolt in now. Right there. I need to put our flexi brake pipe back on. Make sure your washers are clean. One each side of it. Now, just tighten that up. Be aware not to go too tight with this. Okay, we'll check it. Remove the lid from the master cylinder during the bleeding process and keep it topped up at all times. Yeah. Now what we do is Place our uh, put the bleeder bottle on and the um place that over there then release the um the clamp on the pipe. So what'll happen is without going in there to do anything gravity will actually pull it down for the time being. See it coming out there, see the bubbles coming out. Now well, that's walking its way down, I'll go and get some uh, brake fluid to top the master cylinder. Okay, put your foot on the brake. Head off. Okay, pump it up. Hold it down. Pump it up. Hold it down. Pump it up. Hold it down.
Okay, pump it up. Hold it out. Pump it up. Hold it out. Okay, that'll do. Okay, pump it up. Overhaul it, caliper. New router, new pads, new um, dust covers on the uh, slider pins. And uh, I just have to do the far side now. And that's it. That's how you do it.